In this video, we're going to come up with the parametric equations for the Cartate cycloid. So that's this purple line here. So you've got one, um, you've got one circle. This red circle here has radius, in our case, is three. The, the small circle, in our case, has a radius of two. So we are trying to keep track of one particular point on the small circle. So let me illustrate this with an animation. So you've got a, you've got a big circle here of radius, um, radius three. Uh, the small circle has a radius of two, so uh, so as as you rotate it, as you rotate it, it will trace out this purple cycloid. So our job is to come up with the equations for um, for the purple cycloid. So hang on. So so notice that um, so notice that notice that um, uh, the if if you if you look at the bottom of the uh, red circle. Look at the bottom of the red circle. One rotation, which is 2 pi, would take you to here. Okay, so so the first step is um, is to uh, is to come up with. Well, the first step is to look at this here. This distance here is the same as the uh, circumference of the of the red circle. So so if you get this distance here, which is um, which is 2 pi capital R. And then, well, if, if you're working in degrees, you would cut up into 360 degrees. So you would cut it up into 360 equal pieces. So one degree would represent one increment on the on this linear uh, x-axis. So another degree would jump to here. Another degree would jump to here. And another one would jump to here, and so on. But we're not we are not working degrees. We are working radians. So so in our case, in our case, it's two pi. So let's start again. This whole distance here is uh, two pi capital R, cut up into three hundred. Sorry, cut up into two pi equal pieces. So pi is roughly three point one something. So hang on, let me cut up into roughly three equal pieces. Uh, one, two, three. So so one radian would would be this, and another radian would. So so one one rotation. Hang on, if you look at this. You you really got to play around with this. Um, um, get get yourself a graph plotter, uh, load up decimals and punch all this in and play around with it, and then you have an understanding. But let let me just go back to here. So um, so we are we we deliberately create our t to coincide with the angle. So uh, so the angle is uh, two pi all the way around. So we deliberately create our t to um, to to coincide with the angle. Uh, and then, and then, if, if you look at our, our graph plotter, we use a, we use a to represent our t. So, so, um, hang on. So our, so t here and a here and the angle here all represent the same thing. We, we, um, we're going to jump about uh, interchangeably. So they, they all represent the, th the same thing because we deliberately create our t to coincide with the angle. But then we want the ability to slide back and forth. On our, on our graphical calculator. So we, we deliberately create the A to coincide with the T. So, so we're going to jump around and uh, well, well they, they all represent the same thing. So hang on. Um, so let's start again. Uh, let's start again. Hang on. So the first step is to look at this distance here, which is uh, two, 2 pi capital R, cut up into 2 pi equal pieces. So each radian would mean hang on, one, two, three, one, two, three. So one one jump of an angle would mean you jump to here. Another another radian another radian would jump to here, and so on. So this so so if you look at the hang on, if you look at um, bear with me. So so this if if you look at the center of the circle, this distance here is really uh, three three a. Uh, th this distance here is 3a. So, uh, so if you want to keep track of this particular point, you, you uh, it would be 3a, which is um, w w remember it's uh, it's hang on, it's 2 pi r divided by um, divided by 2 pi. So, so that means um, we 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 cut this up. Hang on, we cut up into uh, so so one radian would mean you jump to here. And another radian means you jump to here. So if, if you're trying to keep track of this x uh, of this center of the circle here, um, it is really well. If one 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 increment of the uh, of the rate of the angle would mean you jumping once here. 
So so two so when t equals two, it will jump twice. One, two. So if you're trying to keep track of this sen center point here, it would be um, it would be uh, t. It, it would be three a. It would be three a. Think about it. This uh, this distance here would be three a. Okay, it, it would be three a. Or you can think of it as three t. Um, I've explained it badly, but this distance here is actually uh, three t, which is this bit here. But then you're trying to keep track of this this point here. So uh, so you need to get three t. You need to get three t, which is the distance from here to the center, and then take away this distance here. Take away this distance here. Well, the radius of the small circle is um, is two. So uh, and and you know the angle here. You know the angle here, which is t. So to get this thing here, it's really you using trigonometry. This is two. This is t. So this here must be must be uh, two sine t. That's why you've got this bit here, two sine t. And uh, and if, if you want to know the height, because you're you're trying to keep track of this particular point here, the height here would be would be um, would be the radius of the big circle, which in our case is three. Take away, take away this length here. Take away this length here. So take away. Well, here you've got. This is radius of two. The angle is t. So this length here is um, two cos t, which is so. So this this location here in the y direction would be the radius of the big circle, which is three. Take away this distance here, which is this thing here. So, uh, so the location of this particular point is always given by by this. So, so you can think. So the parametric equations would be x equals three t minus two sine t, and y would be this thing here, uh, three minus two cos uh, t. Uh, play play around. Get, get yourself um, load up decimals and punch this in and play around with it, and then you get you really get a sense of what's going on. Um, it, it will be given by this, right? Okay.